Well, marathon organizers are finishing up preparations for the race tonight while watching the forecast for tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Christine Dobbin now joins us live with what the plans are in case that bad weather hits while people are on the course. Christine? Tom, the expo will end in just about an hour, and behind me you can see the finish line. Overnight organizers will be keeping a very close eye on the weather conditions to make sure it is safe for all of the runners and everyone involved. Now, this includes representatives from the Houston Fire Department, Houston Police Department, also medical and weather experts. One of the big concerns, if there would be rain overnight, a slippery course that could create some problems. Also, the combination of rain and colder temperatures could pose a hypothermia problem for some runners. We talked to many of them as they were leaving the expo this afternoon and asked them if they're concerned about the weather playing a role in their run tomorrow. Last year was pretty, the year before it had a drizzle rain the whole time, and other than blisters, it was okay if it don't get cold. It'll be rainy, but I guess that will actually cool us down a little bit towards the end. I'm prepared. I packed three different types of jackets, <laughs> shorts, pants, you know, just in case, so should be okay. Coming from Illinois, this is what I've been training in. I think I run really good in cold and rain. I'm just a little bit worried about the wind. Um, may not show up. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. And we hope the conditions don't get that bad, but so many participants running for various reasons. A big one, charity. I'll be among the participants in the half marathon. I've got my hero hat on and also my autism jersey. I'll be running for the Organization for Autism Research with a group of students and a professor from Rice University's Hanson College. Today, we've raised about $25,000, and we're just one of about 60 charities that will benefit from tomorrow's race. So good luck to everyone, and let's hope the weather will cooperate. Tom? All right, Christine, and good luck to you and the 25,000 other people running tomorrow. You don't have to attend the marathon to see the race. You can watch it live here on ABC 13 and go to our website, abc13.com. We'll be streaming it there, too, beginning at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning.